In this lesson, we're gonna talk about how we can create stock charts, namely this candlestick chart. And you'll notice here I've got a little legend that explains all the different nuances to it. But you can see here I've got highs and lows and we have these little lines here. And that explains basically what happened, how it closed, how it opened, and then the variation between the high and low from the beginning of the day all the way to when it closed. Now, this is actual real data that is based off of actual Oracle stock. Now, how did I get this data? We go back to my first sheet here. You'll notice that I have this formula called stock history, and I've got the function here that's asking me, well, what is the stock? Notice I've got it in quotes, and I've got today minus 30 all the way until today, and then I've got all these other variables here saying that, yes, I want to have a header, and also I want to have these other four headings here open, high, low, and close. These column headings are gonna be very important because when we do create our chart, there is gonna be a particular type of chart that requires open, high, low, and close in that order. Now, if you want a different type of chart, you can always change the order of these. And of course, you can always put these in manually. So let's go ahead and create our chart. So I'm very simply gonna choose insert, and I'm gonna come over here to my little dimple to get to all my charts. I choose all chart, and then I'm gonna click stock, and you'll see here is what I was referring to earlier, high, low, close. Here is open, high, low, close. Here is volume, high, low, close. And here is volume, open, high, low, close. We're gonna be working with this one. You'll notice I got a little preview here and I simply click OK. And now I'm gonna go ahead and move this around just like that. Now, the first thing you're gonna notice here is the colors. We're gonna affect that in a little bit. The other thing you may notice is that there's gonna be these little gaps here. And that's gonna happen because it doesn't really understand weekends and days when the stock is not being traded. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to fix that by removing the weekends. And you do that by double clicking on the date. And then on the right hand side are my format axis pane. I'm gonna choose text axis. I close that out and then click away resize, and then you will see it there. Now in a little bit, I'm gonna make this a bit bigger so we can work with it, but let's just now see how we can make this a little bit more readable and a little bit more pertinent to the data that we're working with. Now notice I have this gap over here from 135 all the way to 150. I don't really need to have any space there on my chart. So very simply, I'm gonna double click back on my Y axis. I'm gonna make this go all the way to, let's just say 148, and then for the highest point, I'm gonna make this go to, let's just say about 175. And if I scroll to the right there, you can see very good, it goes all the way to the top there. Now for my dates, I actually don't need it to take up so much room here. So again, I'm gonna double click on my dates. I'm gonna drag down all the way to the bottom here, go to number, and then for my type, I just really needed to show the month and the day. Very good, a lot cleaner for me to work with now. And you can see here, it's now coming into shape. Now these clear ones by default are the ones where we closed higher than we opened. And then these dark ones are gonna be the opposite where we closed lower than we opened. So let's go ahead and see how we can change the color on these. Just click on one of them and then notice how every one from that category now gets selected. I'm gonna go over here to my format tab and I'm gonna change that to green. Now they're all green. Now let's go ahead and do the same thing for the other ones, the counterparts. Let's go ahead and say shape fill, and then I'll go ahead and make that red. And now if I click away, we'll now see them all red. And if we compare it to our original data, let's go ahead and see what happened on May 12th. You can see how we opened at 156 and we closed at 157. So you can see here, where's our open here, and then here's our close, but it is green because we closed higher. Let's go ahead and take a look at 515. Notice how we opened at 161 and we closed at 159, so therefore it was lower. Now let's go ahead and bring this onto its own sheet. Simply select it, go over here to chart design, click on move chart, click on new sheet, click OK. And now I can see a much bigger version of this also telling me the story of how the stock has performed over the 30 day period. Now, similar to other charts in Excel, you have all kinds of different options here. If you wanted to change the chart styles, you can see I can override these but I'm gonna keep my manual one. And then also note, if you wanted to go back and select your data again, change the chart type. And then if you click on your little plus sign, you can always add on different elements, like a title, data labels. For example, a trend line would be an effective way of telling your story about the stock's performance. I choose that. And then you'll see here, add a trend line based on a series. And in this case, it's about the closing price. I click okay. And you can see there the performance 
has only continued to improve. Now, the last thing I want to talk about is coming right back to where we started and going over to here to our formula. Now, this data is dynamic. So if I were to change the date going back, with, let's say 30 days to 20 days to 45 days, I can very easily do that and my chart will reflect it. Likewise, if I wanted to find another stock, I can very easily do that as well. And then finally, just to clean a few things up, I'm gonna remove my chart title. I'll go over here to my little plus sign, uncheck that. I'm also gonna remove my legend, get rid of that, make sure that my trend line still shows, click on close, and now, very good. I've got a great story to tell about my stock's performance. Are you happy with this training? Make sure to subscribe for more great content. Visit the Simon Says It channel, explore our videos and training sessions, and decide what you want to learn next.